It is a crucial day in Congresswoman Gabrielle Gifford's recovery as her doctors monitor swelling in her brain. A neurosurgeon about why this is such an important day and what Giffords might be facing long term. Right now, we are waiting to hear from the doctors treating Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. And they've said before that today is a crucial one in her recovery because brain swelling is usually at its very worst on the third day after an injury. Here's the approximate trajectory of the bullet which cut through the length of her brain from back to front. So we've been told by doctors there at the University of Medical Center at Arizona. Joining us now is Dr. Ed Cornell, a neurosurgeon at the Brain and Spine Surgeons of New York. Good to see you today, Dr. Cornell. Uh, first of all, I want to go back to that graphic because you can talk specifically about how this bullet may have traveled and what parts of the brain may have been affected. And with you narrating, we'll learn a great deal. Take sure, a peek at that picture. It's a pleasure to be here with you, Harris. So what we're seeing here is that the bullet is actually entering in the back of the temporal lobe by the junction of the temporal and parietal lobes. And why that's so important is because that's right by the area of speech control. And so what we're looking at in this picture is that, in fact, there's an area that is, in fun that is functionally very significant when it comes to speech. And then it traverses the area that controls movement that primary motor cortex, which we see, is very important in movement of the leg and the arm, especially the leg. And then it goes out the frontal area, which is also important in speech. So the concern is that as she recovers, that she'll have significant problems with regaining speech and with regaining movement on the right side. And that's based on what we see here. And, and of course, the doctors are not right here to sketch this for us. This has been based on what they've told us. Right. But that's your expert opinion based on what we know with the trajectory. Now, let's move ahead with how important this day is, the swelling. And you say that she's not out of the woods yet, even though doctors and surgeons have been so optimistic. Why? Well, there are several things that could occur. First of all, the swelling, though it tends to reach its peak by 48 hours, mm -hmm. can still develop further in the next 24 hours. But still, we're able to breathe sort of a sigh of relief now because of the likelihood that the swelling has reached its maximum. However, there are other problems that can occur. There can be delayed infection. And that can occur several days after this type of an injury, even though she's most likely on antibiotics now. Mm -hmm. There can be a delayed hemorrhage in the brain from the area of the brain that has been damaged. That area sometimes can bleed. There can be an uh, area of bleeding along the surface of the brain called a subdural hematoma that can occur in a, occur in a delayed fashion. Mm -hmm. And even, I don't know the details of her specific injury, but you can also develop what's called hydrocephalus or water on the brain. So as the fluid cavities dilate, you need to drain them. Okay, so they're still, you know, considering her right now in critical condition, and you've just explained to us why. Looking ahead, how long a road to recovery might she have? And is it realistic to think a full recovery is in the spectrum? And I, and I know I'm, I'm asking you almost to look through a crystal ball with the exception of the fact that you're an expert. Well, it's a tough question to fully answer because, as you mentioned, we don't know the true specifics. But if we assume that the di diagram that we've seen is correct, mm -hmm. then it's going to be a long road to recovery. How long? It will be months and possibly years, and most likely mm -hmm. there won't be a complete recovery. What we would hope for mm -hmm. is that she is able to be the person she was before in terms of her personality and her intellect. But it's going to take a long time for her to regain speech function mm -hmm. and movement on the right side. And Dr. Cornell, I know I, I read some notes that you had on this that you also, like the other surgeons, are bolstered by the fact that she is doing some communication now with a squeezing of hands. I want to thank you for joining us today. We're watching the situation so closely. And as doctors step up to the mic for a news conference in the next 20 minutes, as they are expected to do down in Arizona at the uh, University of Medical Center there, we'll certainly take you to that live. Thank you again, Dr. John. Pleasure.